Congratulations. You've just been kidnapped into the world's oldest This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail Into Reaction. What I'm looking at today is a trailer for a movie called The Pentaverate, I think it's pronounced. And this is a Netflix movie. And you might have heard recently that they lost something in order of 200,000 subscribers. And this is connected. Obliquely, yes, but connected. Think about the Netflix model for a moment, which is to say, cranking out tons of content, so much content in fact, that oftentimes you're not even aware of what's coming on unless you really pay attention. Coupled with expensive salaries for its executives. So you have expensive programming, a lot of which goes under the radar, and expensive salaries. Something has to give. In this case, it was subscribers. Now Netflix is still number one in terms of the amount of people subscribed, but they can't continue losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers every quarter and seek to hold that position. It becomes, after a point, not viable. And what bothers me most about the Netflix situation is what is typically the case of American companies, which is to say, the first response is to fire people. Netflix recently laid off, I believe, their children's animation division or something to that effect. The answer is never cut executive salaries. Never! Which leads to depentivorate. Now, I get the feeling this is one of those movies that the studios passed on and Netflix took. This is not unusual for Netflix. In fact, they do this all the time. Movies that, for whatever reason, the studio did not think was worth releasing, Netflix takes and pays millions of dollars for, I would assume, in many instances. This feels very desperate for me. The Pentefret stars Mike Myers, who, if you recall, is from the Gold Member movies, The Spy Who Shagged Me, that type of thing. The thing about him, though, is that he has this shtick, which is to have multiple characters all played by him. I don't know why this is to fall back on for comedic actors. Eddie Murphy did it, Martin Lawrence did it, and Mike Myers seems to have not stopped doing it. It's cheap, and for me, it's the last gasp of, of a comedian when they can't do anything else. Which brings me back full circle to Netflix's subscriber situation. If you have movies that feel desperate, if you have content that gets lost in the shuffle, you've got to understand you're gonna lose people. And this is on top of Netflix raising subscriber fees, which should be the last thing you do. You start, or you should start, I should say, with cutting executive salaries. You should start with paying less for your programming. I read somewhere that the upcoming Stranger Things season costs $30 million an episode. I don't know how true that is, and frankly, I think it's exaggerated. But let's for argument's say it's accurate. It's not unheard of for a series to be expensive. Game of Thrones wasn't exactly cheap. But at the same time, that took place, I want to say in Ireland, or somewhere in Europe to be sure. That was shot on location. It was a period piece, it was a fantasy, but a period fantasy. And it revolved around a lot of costumes, sets, and special effects. Stranger Things relies on those things too, but not nearly to the degree of a Game of Thrones. Why is this series, if it costs $30 million, so expensive? Though, as I said, it goes to Netflix's problem, which I think is a problem with American companies in general, which is to say, they fatten their executives' wallets 
at the expense of everything else. In any case, let's look at the trailer for Mike Myers in The Pentaverate. Congratulations. You've just been kidnapped into the world's oldest and most effective secret society of five men. Lord Lordington, our highest ranking member, former Australian media mogul, Bruce Baldwin, ex-member of Putin's oligarchy, Mishu Ivanov, Alice Cooper's former manager, Chef Gordon, and you. Ken, man on the street opinions come from Twitter now. Please, give me one more chance. Maybe you're destined for something greater. I'm being sent to Dubrovnik, I repeat. Sent to Dubrovnik. What's Dubrovnik? Is that a euphemism for being probed in your no-no hole? There is something rotten within the Pentaver. I got a plan to get you in. What do you have to lose if you break a story like the Pentaver? You can do something good for this world. Where were you born? Well, actually, I was born in Toronto. No. You were born in your mother's ass. Well, that's less than kind and impossible. Are you gonna kill me? According to the world, you're already dead. The future of humanity is at stake. No pressure or anything. Ah, you're ready to the record is the illuminati real yes both beyonce and jay-z are part of it sadly that's what lemonade is about <laughs> yes yes we are the oh the illuminati no 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 we are the oh uh you're the masons the fucking pentaverate the pentaverate asshole yeah He's a total schmuck. Depend on what the fuck? Well, that was the trailer for the Pentaverate. And it kind of feels like the Spy Who Shagged Me movies, really. And as I mentioned earlier, you get the Mike Myers shtick of playing 50 plus people on screen sometimes at the same time. It might have a few chuckles. I think it's going to be kind of crappy. Though Kim Jong is always funny. Though what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail into Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.